Got your paperwork squared away? No visitors allowed. What? I don't need to see your identification. Move along. If you don't, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. 
a rundown backwater barely worth the ink on a map until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Yes, I'm aware that you stole a batch of precious chemicals and destroyed an important experiment. Enterprising of you, if irritating. My scientists tell me they'll restore the damage you've done within a matter of months. But I'm not here to talk about minor setbacks. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? And now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? 
That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the Hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the Hope to the Unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra II. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. You absolutely should. Sarcasm, the last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses.
Captain, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. For the Sun. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. Error. Hope crew data not found. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and I'm a Can't think of much worse than drooling on your pillow in front of a bunch of strangers. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved?
Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Oh good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Oh, oh. I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again. I don't recognize you. I'm just trying to... Yeah. I don't want any trouble out of you. Captain, I, Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Thanks for all you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, 
And I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. How can I be of assistance? Mm-hmm. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. I got this.
You gotta teach me that. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. So Wells has been arrested and locked up in Tartarus. This is a nightmare. That place terrifies even the most hardened criminal. I never got to know Doc Wells. We ain't friends or crew. But he's still one of us. He's the reason the boss is up and walking right now. We can't just leave him to die in Tartarus. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea, but I admire your bravado, Captain, which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. We gonna prepare? Sure. I guess I could give my ass kicking boots another coat of polish. You got some sort of plan in mind? Straightforward and simple. Sounds like our best bet. <laughs> 